Welcome to Caseway Quick Vids for Gap Financials. In this quick vid, I will review three alternate methods you can use to create client files with Gap Financials. Please note that I will be using the US template in this example. The Canadian template functions in an identical manner, the only difference is in the content which is not shown here. The first of these three methods is going to be to drag and drop financials into an existing working papers client file. The second method is going to be to create a new client file based on financials. And the third method is going to be creating a new client file using existing or imported data from an external accounting package and have financials added in one step. So let's review the first method, known as drag and drop. This method will be used to integrate financials into an existing working papers client file with no financials folders or documents. This will be done using the document library feature found in working papers. By default, the document library path should be set correctly, but it is important to show you where to set the path if necessary. From Working Papers, select Tools, Options, select Default Paths, and make sure the Document Library path is pointing to the Document Library folder found under Caseware. Use Browse to locate the folder if necessary. Select OK to close the dialog. To access the Document Library feature, while in Working Papers, I'm going to select Document, New. In the New Document Library, I'm going to select From Document Library, and I'm going to select OK. We will use the Source drop-down to locate the template I would like to use to add to this existing client file. I'm going to select Financials 5 US. You'll notice in the window all the folders that come with Financials. However, only three of these folders are needed to start working in Financials. The others are working paper folders or there could be files and folders required by your administrator. Please note that depending on your administrator, the names of the documents and or folders and the placements may have changed. Selecting the folder, customizing for the engagement, and while holding the control key, I'm going to select financial reports and customizing for the firm. I can now click add to bring these folders over to my document manager or alternatively I can use drag and drop to add them to my document manager. Please note that this may take some time depending on your computer's resources. Click close to close the document library dialog. Financials has been successfully added to this client file and now I can begin to create my financial statements. The second method is creating a new file based on financials. I will use this method if I take on a new client for example and will be starting with no existing working papers data. While in Working Papers, from the menu, I'm going to select File, New, and I'm going to select the radio button and Create New File. In the New File dialog, I'm going to provide a name for the new client file. In this example, to keep it simple, I will call it New Client 1. I'm then going to base my new client file on the Financials US template. Once the template is selected, click OK. The file has now begun to be created. Once the file is finished creating, the Engagement Properties dialog opens. It is important to complete the Engagement Properties dialog as some of the information in this dialog automatically flows into the Financials template. Select Help for any help on the Engagement Properties. Selecting OK will close the Engagement Properties. Notice the Financial Specific folders and documents have been placed in the Document Manager and now you can begin to work in this new client file. The third method is to create a new client file based on existing data while incorporating financials at the same time. You will use this method when I want to integrate my existing or imported accounting data and copy financials components in one step. To begin, from Working Papers, select File, New. In this example, I'm going to select the radio button, create a new file from Client Data, and select OK. There are three options here to consider. One, Client Data File will create a file based on some popular accounting packages. Two, Existing file will create a file based on an existing working papers file. And thirdly, other data source will allow you to create a file based on numerous other accounting packages. For this demonstration, I'm going to select other data source and I'm going to click next. In this dialog, I will use the drop down to select the accounting package I use. This drop down shows all the accounting packages Caseware supports. In this example, I'm going to select Sage. Please note, some accounting packages may not be applicable in your jurisdiction. Once the accounting package I want is selected, several options specific to this accounting package appear. These options will help me successfully import my data from my accounting package. Once happy with the selected options, click Next. Once again, 
I will provide the new client file with a name. In this example, I'm going to call it new client 2. I'm then once again going to select the financials US template as I'd also like to incorporate this into my client file. Once selected, click finish to begin creating this client file. Once completed, the new client file will have all the existing client data imported from my accounting package as well as the financials documents and folders. That concludes method 3. Thank you for watching Caseware QuickVids.